Hello, welcome. In this problem, we're looking at simple interest and we're given the time in months. So let's take a moment, read the problem, try it out, and then press play and we'll solve it together. Okay, so here's the question. It says, how much simple interest? So we're looking at simple interest. Will someone earn on $5,318 at a rate of 4.7% in 43 months. Round your answer to the nearest cent and omit the dollar sign. Okay, so with simple interest, the idea is that I, which is our interest, is equivalent to the principal times the rate of interest, as a decimal, times time in years. That's our assumption that time is in years, rate is a dense a decimal, and principles are starting amount. So we have to adjust some of these things here. We have interest equals 50, 318, that's our principal, times 4.7% is equivalent to 4.7 over 100, which equals 0 0.047. So that's our rate as a decimal. And then our time, well, we're dealing with 43 months, but we want to think about that in terms of years because uh, this 4.7%, right, it can be broken up into a um, a fraction of a year. So at the end of the year, you'd have 4.7%, but along the way, you would have an equivalent fraction or proportional fraction of that applied. So if it was halfway through the year, you would have essentially half of 4.7% applied to your principal. If it was two years, it would be double that amount, right? You just take the fraction of years that you're dealing with. So our fraction of years is what? Well, it's 43 months out of 12 months in a year. That's our fraction. So you're given the time in months, and then you want to think about that as a fraction of a year, and this will solve essentially the problem for us. Now in a calculator here, let's pull up a calculator. Um, we're going to do 5318 times 0.047 times, you can enter this fraction directly, I just would add parentheses and type in 43 divided by 12. Here you don't need parentheses technically, but I think it's a good habit to um, put your fractions in parentheses to keep track of them. And you get 895.6 to the nearest cent, that three becomes a four. So 895.64, 895.64. And that is the interest that we would accumulate in that many months. All right, I hope this helped.